In this Letterpop tutorial, we're going to learn a little bit about how to manage your address book. When you log into Letterpop, you can click My Account at the top, and you'll be given your administrative management panel with My Account, Password, Profile, Newsletters, Address Book, Media, and Stats. To manage your address book, click on Address Book. Once you're in the address book, you have a variety of different tools. First one is that you can import addresses, or you can import existing Gmail contacts. To import addresses, you can either import them by putting them here one line at a time, and it tells you how many more contacts you have room for in the account level subscription that you have purchased. This is a base account of 25 uh, addresses, and therefore I only have two addresses left, but I can put those in here. save them and I can actually add them to a separate mailing list if I'd like or I can add them to an existing mailing list if I have an existing mailing list I have your manually entered emails I might choose that or I could say don't add them to any mailing list just import them and at that point it warned me that my address book is full but it did add them I can also import from Gmail. Before I do that, though, I'm going to need to delete for purposes of showing you this. I can either delete emails one at a time like this with the X button, and I'm literally deleting these out of my account for good. Or I can select multiple and hit the delete button at the bottom and delete all of them. I had others on the next page. Let's just delete all of them so that I have no more contacts. And now let's import my contacts from Gmail. If you have a Gmail account, all you need is the email address and password. here again I'm able to make a new list. I'll make a new uh, email list here. And I'm all set. I've added the, all of the contacts that I had in that Gmail account. And I can do this with multiple Gmail accounts if I'd like as well. Here, this is probably going to be more. More emails than I'm permitted. I'm about to import 20 contacts. I'll click Next. I can give that a name. And it will create a list and automatically associate all of these imports with that list that I've just created right here finish. Now, in the process I've created two lists that you can see under my mailing list panel on the right. I have the ones imported from Gmail and manually entered. And I have all of those contacts now here and I can click on them to edit them. edited that. It will show up at the bottom of the list because it was the uh, last one I edited. And I can search my contacts. And I can view statistics about mailings, which bumps me over to statistics. Now, going back to the address book, have my mailing list here. If I want to edit a mailing list now, I click on the little uh, pencil.
pencil. <clears throat> and now that is going to show me the list. These are all the contacts that I've just imported from the mail list that I call Gmail. Now I can take them off the list by clicking the delete button. This doesn't delete them out of my master list. If you go down further, you'll see here is your master list. Those contacts continue to exist even if you remove them from the mailing list. I can also go to an email list that only has one contact, and I can look for contacts to add to this list. That's what this add button is for. So I'm on the list called Letter Pop menu right here shows who is on that list, only one. So I can add one. And as I add them, the list grows. I can't add the same person twice. I can delete. This is a blank that was an error, so we can delete that, get rid of it. And I'm building a mailing list at the same time I'm not doing anything to the underlying data in the mailing list. This is my master mailing list with all 22 of my contacts and this is the mailing list that I'm creating with a name. This allows me to send newsletters to a specific mailing list that doesn't go to everybody. And that's basically it. I, I have um, a list here called imported from Gmail that uh, has nobody. So I can delete it. We don't need a list with nobody in it. I have one called manually entered. Let's have a look at that. I hit the pencil. And here, right here where my mouse is circling, is where it's displaying. So if I add a couple of contacts, the list grows so that now manually entered, which is what I'm looking at right here, it says you have selected manually entered emails mailing list. That's this. I've added three emails to those. And that is how you use the address book function of Letterpop.